It is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the Wake and Bake Show. I'm your host, Miss Green Jeans. And the sound that you just heard is what MSD Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School heard exactly 20 minutes ago. These students are currently now in class. The parents are at high anxiety. So we would be less than human. Not to say we're with you, we stand with you, and for those who did not go back to class today, we understand, and you're in our hearts and our prayers. MSD Strong from the family here at 710 Radio. Now on with the show. Get your vapes, get your dabs, get your blunts, get them all together. Because some of y'all truly parents of MSD Strong, you definitely need to wake your baby so I can understand how you feel about your baby. Rolling up a do when I wake up Smoke. and contemplate how I'm gonna make bucks. Oh. Rent is due soon, I'm pinching. Yeah. No different, I need to throw a change up. Before you start talking, get your weight up. Okay. Same dudes hating, they keep doing the same yeah. stuff. Yeah. Cush loud, say what? Huh? We only look down the road weed and pray up. up. And blow my smoke to the heavens above. And thank God just for showing me love. For giving me the strength when push came to shove. And making this beautiful bud for real. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Hit my knees and pray. I say goodbye to yesterday. I wake. Then I bake, and everything's okay, and everything's okay, yeah. Hopped about the bed, grabbed my zip lot. Y'all know my campaign, smoke trees, not rocks. Fell asleep with a dream, came up with a plot. Now I'm bleeding my block off private stock. Trying to stack me up a million. House on the hill for my wife and my children. Flow non-violent, but I'm talking about a killer. Could have called life, or I could have fell a victim. But I ain't never slipping. The night I hit my knees and pray. I try to talk to God, but he can't hear what I say. So if I go before my time, here's my soul to take But if I get up in the morning, let me bake when I wait Roll it up for the good times Pour it out for the bad times Roll it up for the good times Pour it out for the bad times Hit my knees and pray I say goodbye to yesterday I wake, then I bake And everything's okay And everything's okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all about feeling great on a day-to-day Double-fisted red cups, I ain't ashamed to say I'm trying to have the best summer I ever had Inhale some good, exhale the bad This is just the way things go first I wake, then I bake, then I elevate the call Cause you only get to live life once But if you do it right, then once is enough So just remember that whenever times get tough And keep faith with it, the God we trust And remember you can only take it day-to-day And everything's gonna be okay It'll be okay Roll it up for the good times Pour it out for the bad times Roll it up for the good times Pour it out for the bad times Hit my knees and pray I say goodbye to yesterday I wake, then I bake And everything's okay And everything's okay, yeah I know radio probably ain't gonna play this but chopper going off in the hood, man, like Afghanistan or the Gaza Strip somewhere, man. Yeah. We hear so much, we probably know them to it by now. After all, it's the American way, right? Home of the brave and free. It's America. Free just to murder me. Land of the handgun. Land of the beautiful. Home of the shotgun. Cursed by the hate we throw. You're dead if you ain't got Is one. You said it the home of the brave, I get. I said it the home of the K's in the vet. All alone with the J, smoke a yay, cause it's stressed. Don't crawl with the tent, suck the spray from the spit. I learned from the bed, you can stay in the gym. Hard work from the vets, burn a rubber in the vet. It's as good as it get, you can play with the red. Then I got older and learned, stay away from the red. God bless you, nigga. The hustle up and make eight figures. Turn from a goon to 
to a great young nigga. Right. I complain that you're doing with a tank, young nigga. Uh-huh. I was raised in the decade of hate, young nigga. Uh-huh. I would dodge your police and cut the hate, young nigga. And we hate them too. 38 and them shoot. How to change the system or take him through. He ain't a killer, but he will if you make him do a homicide. Here, ride right there, put him on trial. Let him have a light in it, then do it with a smile. And he only 19, he ain't even had a child. As a child told him, mama, he'll be gone for a while. And she cried. Still, they just put him inside. Now she all on her own cause her other son died. Listen to the politician as he lied and he lied. He a snake in a suit trying to hide in the sky. Home of the brave and free. Well, damn, officer, what I do? Free just to murder me. Now, hold on, man. Don't shoot. I live over there. Land of the beautiful. Hey, hey man, what you doing, man? Cursed by the hate we throw. You tripping, dog? Hey, for the stars in the stripe, prison bars in the pipe. Young nigga rolling weed and a cigar he could light. Bay red, either blue, selling hard in the white. Live by the gun, never run from a fight. Trey Bun in the hoodie, walking through a neighborhood. He didn't do shit to buddy, he didn't have to die, did he? I guess it cause his dad was a judge in the city. They didn't want him in the pen, wouldn't thug, they could get him. A jury of his peers said, all we're forgiving. The tough one of mine, right or wrong, I'ma kill him. Fill him with the lead like the prim one, Luther King head, like the kill, make a man, echo Hoover did, yeah. You can catch me in the hood where they shoot niggas at. They don't know if neighborhood or the Hoover did, yeah. Well, the power rules of VLs or GD with me, we down. For you ain't fit to live. Land of the beautiful. To get something you never had, you might be willing to do something you never done. I'ma die by my hand. To the government to pay the people who gotta watch over the prisoner more than the people who gotta keep the children from becoming prisoners. That makes sense. Tell me why nine ounces of crack get you more time than a rate right now. Tell me why the crazy white boy can tow the gun, but I can't right now. Yeah, I had felonies, I done did dirt in the street, but I ain't never gave to nobody that deserved it. You know what I mean? I ain't never ran no public play with no pistol shooting, no innocent people. I ain't never ran no school killing no kids. Man, this is a result of you refusing to deal with the issues at hand. We are a product of the environment you placed us in. We ain't do it. We just live through it. Home of the brave and free. And a message to my people. Free just to murder Stop me. waiting on folk to help you help yourself. Start Land with you. The beautiful. Get yourself out. Reach back. Get somebody Could else out. The hate And we're back eight minutes, eight minutes after the hour. You're in tune to 710 Radio, the Wake and Bake Show. Good morning, everybody. I know everybody like, dang, she started that bad boy dark. No, it's not that I started it dark this morning. The point is that this. It's a lot of parents having high anxiety today over possibly 2,500, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, because we know all 3,000 kids are not at that school today. So I'm just looking at it from a perspective of a parent, of a grandparent. Um, that's some really heavy stuff, you know. I watched the news a little bit before I came on the air this morning and watching those kids going to the school. You can see it over their faces. Some of those poor kids are scared to death. Because they don't know what's going to happen. And some others, it's to the point they can't even go back. And so we'd be less than a human being that we didn't speak about post-traumatic stress disorder this morning. We know some of those kids are going to need cannabis. And thank God they're in a state that they can get it. Now think about all the other states that that has happened in. Did they have cannabis that they can rely on? Think about it. God forbid if it happened in one of the states that don't have cannabis as medical for those children. I mean, our kids are living with a lot of crap now. I mean, more than ever before. They're pressured with more things. They have more things to get into. And this should not be one more thing that they have to deal with. And my student that I, I have been following is David Hogg. David Hogg has a chance to run for office if he's smart about it. 
He's articulate, he's bright, and he's very well spoken. And he's direct to the points to the politicians. So David, this show is dedicated to you. Because I love the point that you are straight, shooter, honest, and point blank to your point. So David, you and the rest of your classmates today, I hope you're having a blessed day. The days will get easy, I promise you. I don't know what it's like to be shot at. I don't, and I never want to. But for all of you that's going back to school today, that shows toughness. I don't know if I could do that. And there's a lot of listeners out there probably saying the same thing. They don't know. These kids are facing stuff that us adults have never faced before. And that's a rough thing. So, hey, hold them in your hearts, minds, and prayers or however you get down, you know. So, we're at the end of the month, guys. And y'all know me, I like to meditate. And today should be a special day of meditation. It's through the fact of this. We're at the end of the month. We're getting ready to go into March. Some of the elections are getting ready to start. And I'm going to tell you more about that when we come back from this. But y'all know I got a favorite meditation thing that I play. I have already went through mine today. And I'm going to help you get through yours right now. You in tune to 710 Radio. This is our meditation moment. Sit or lie comfortably, quietly. Allow yourself to be here fully in this moment. With your eyes closed, begin to connect with your inner world of thought and feeling. Gradually, let the horseshit of the external world fade from your awareness. If you find your mind wandering to other thoughts... Don't let it concern you. Just acknowledge that all that shit is fucking bullshit. You're here now, in this place, with your inner stillness. Those bitches can't get under your skin. They can't even. Take in a deep breath. Now breathe out. Just feel the fucking nonsense float away. Take full, deep breaths. Breathe in strength. Breathe out bullshit. Allow your breathing to discover its own natural, unhurried pace. If your thoughts drift to the three-ring shit show of your life, bring your attention back to your breathing. And with each breath, feel your body saying, Fuck that. With passive acceptance, just allow distracting thoughts to float by. Fuck that. With each breath you take, your thoughts become lighter. And all the soul-eating cocksuckers just fall away into nothing. Take a moment to appreciate the silence. Those assholes can't piss all over a purity like this. You are weightless. Timeless, without beginning or end. Completely relaxed and free of thought. And as you slowly open your eyes, greet the world and everything in it with a new, beautiful breath of fuck that. Now we want you to open your eyes, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Next month is March 1st. Yeah, March comes in roaring like a lion and we finna help that bad boy roll. So this is what we're asking everybody to do. You know we have a bill at, at the state White House right now. The bill is HR. 1227, ending the Federal Medical Marijuana Prohibition, per, Prohibition Act of 2017. This bill will eliminate federal criminal penalties for possessing and growing marijuana and give states the power and flexibility to establish their own okay, establish their own marijuana policies free from federal interference. This bill will also remove marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act which would allow for more marijuana research, both recreationally and medically. 
Now, you know, Jeff Sessions is going to try to block this. Once again, he's always threatening to make progress every week. So this is necessary that we get this. So what we're asking everybody to do is send a message urging them to co-sponsor HR 1227. This is imperative, ladies and gentlemen. Considering what we just went through in the last month. This month is 28 days. And we have seen some craziness put out in this 28 days. And so the only way we can stop this is we go ahead, get on Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, troll your people. Troll them. They ain't got nothing else better to do. They got their thumb up their ass right now playing with themselves. So you know what you got to do. Go ahead. Drop that 5, 10, 15 second message and say, hey, we need you to co-sponsor this bill. You know, because election time is starting. Matter of fact, they're getting ready to wrap it up in Illinois next month. And I'm going to pull an ad that I've seen that, yes, I'm supporting this gentleman. And I'm going to support everybody that's doing the same thing that he's doing. And you'll find out more about that when we come back. You're in tune to 710 Radio, the Wake and Bake Show with Miss Green Jeans. Oh, this one's going to be off the chain today, guys. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. From a young age, taking my soak into the masses, writing my poems for the few that look at me, took to me, shook at me, feeling me, singing from heartache, from the pain, taking my message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the...
can look into my eyes. Always keep your head up high. Talk the truth, I never lie. Positivity, my vibe. Well, I will never change my way. I'm living life every day. Pause. You turn you to no for strife. Realize, open your eyes. Only way that you survive is to make sure that you're wise. Cause education is the way. You gotta stay ahead of the game. Up, 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 and never going down. Stand firm on solid ground. Are you feeling like a shadow of yourself? Is your mood on its way down? You could be suffering from low THC, also known as cannabinoid deficiency, caused by 77 years of government interference via prohibition. Do you live in a medical cannabis state or the District of Columbia? Are you over the age of 18 and seeking non-toxic natural health, well-being, and peace of mind? Ask your doctor if cannabis may be right for you. After 10,000 years of recorded human use and 77 years of failed prohibition on the world's most extensively tested plant, the results are in. Cannabis has no known lethal dose and is arguably the safest and most comprehensive therapeutic substance known to man. Cannabis remained in the United States from until 1941, and cannabinoids are currently patented by the federal government as an anti-inflammatory U.S. patent 6630507. Human brains have cannabinoid receptors. Cannabinoids are lubricants in the human body. Due to prohibition, our bodies have been denied essential lubrication. Imagine never changing or adding to the oil in your car. The use of cannabis for low THC may cause immediate relief, including a general feeling of well-being, chronic smiling or laughing, feelings of euphoria, increased creativity or clarity, a greater appreciation for music and art, the desire to dance, increased feelings of inspiration, compassion or unity, a need for truth and 
justice, or you may wake feeling more well-rested than usual. It's undetermined to know exactly how many symptoms the use of cannabis may alleviate because of federal prohibition. There were dozens identified in the 1909 Eli Lilly Pharmaceutical Handbook. Currently, over 80% of the population supports the right to use cannabis therapeutically, and 92% of its users have declared significant non-toxic relief. The most common side effects, which are usually mild to moderate and may fade or disappear completely over time, are dry mouth and drowsiness. Other more serious side effects can include growing and repairing brain cells and DNA or improved vision, may prevent Alzheimer's, dementia, glaucoma, nausea, and suicide, may provide relief from autism, asthma, anorexia, arthritis, AIDS, cancer, Crohn's, depression, epilepsy, fibromyalgia, gout, IBS, insomnia, MS, migraine, pain, Parkinson's, PTSD, and spasticity. Use caution while driving or doing other physical activities until you know how cannabis affects you. May cause paranoia or nervousness specifically caused by real-life government intervention in your quest for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the USA. Ask your doctor if cannabis may be right for you. Brought to you as a public service announcement by The People's Plant, a campaign of conscience. Hi, my name is Ricky Williams. My name is Evan Britton. My name is Marcus Stelly. My name is Boo Williams. My name is Jim McMahon. My name is Chris Cluey. My name is Kyle Turley. I played in one of the major North American football leagues. I have two championship rings from that big game we play at the end of the season. In college, I won a trophy that looks like this. I was a punter for eight seasons, and punters are football players too. I also wrote the name of the commissioner on my headband, and everyone lost their shit. The men who play American football are subject to a life of injury, pain, and disease, both during and long after their careers are over. And that's why I smoke pot. That's why I smoke cannabis. That's why I smoke weed. That's why I smoked weed when I played. It has, without a doubt, reduced the amount of pain I live with. It's my body. I know. But for some reason, the major North American non-Canadian football league refuses to allow players to use cannabis. Instead of allowing for safe, natural healing, the sport pushes players towards addictive narcotic painkillers with serious side effects. So let's Let's get get real, Roger. Roger. Football players should be allowed to use medicinal marijuana without the stigma of it being a banned substance. Cannabis isn't a drug. It is a medicine. Point well taken. We're back. It's 27, 27 minutes after the hour. You in tune to 710 Radio. Y'all been cutting up. I'm I'm still trying to get to that that um one story I wanted to get to. But I got so much stuff that's going on on my Facebook. It's incredible. Y'all be cutting up for real. And I got to get back with some people. But sometimes you just have to shut it down for a little while. And I had a lot of stuff that was going on. So I shut down my phone for a while because I didn't want to act the fool this morning. But Hey, that didn't help none at all. It still decided to act a donkey, so let me go ahead and take the volume off that real quick. Um, I'm almost there to that story, I do believe. Whilst I was thinking about it, if y'all been on my um, page, I got a perfect something to make you smile this morning. Check out the story of the beagle stealing the chicken nuggets. Now, that made me smile. That puppy was really creative when he was up there, you know, took the chair, moved the chair. Bounced himself on the counter, walked open, opened the oven door, and got them nuggets. That really got to me yesterday. I'm like, wow. But there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, I wanted to talk about that candidate. I'm still trying to get to him. I might have to go to a different story first. <sighs> I didn't realize I had that much stuff on here. I have a lot of stuff on here. Okay, here we go. We finally got to them. If you notice, if you're on my page or follow me on this green jeans, um, Benjamin Thomas, Wolf for Congress. He is a Bernie here here is a Bernie Sanders candidate for US Congress. Remember to vote on March 20th. Wolf is the first ballot on the box. This is what he stands for. Universal health care, legal cannabis. Free college tuition and stronger unions. This is a man, if you're in the state of Illinois and you use cannabis, you need to get behind. And plus the fact is, is this. He ain't bad on the eyes at all. I'm not kidding. He, he looks like a younger version of Superman. I mean, chisel chest. I mean, chisel. Well, you, damn, you know, hey, the boy's on point. I mean, if you take a look at his, you know. I like him one of his ads. He has Wolf for Congress, Bernie minus the 34 years. I mean, we done got a, quite a few comments on this um, post, this particular post right here. You know, and Jessica Tapp, I'm re- agreeing with you. He isn't too hard on the eyes. And yes, the state is Illinois. 
And um, y'all been checking him out. And Emily McSherry said he looks like Superman. That's the first thing I thought to Emily when I seen that post that he does look like Superman. But what caught my attention is High Times had it at first. And you know me, I got to do my research a little further. So I pulled up the website. And uh, I wish he was running in this state, but we got our own candidate, which I'll be talking about tomorrow. That's what March is going to be leading off into. I'm going to give you inform of the people that's running all over the country that is fighting for us. And we need to get behind them because if we don't have people that think like us, we're not going to get this shit done. I'm sorry to say. We've already beat our head against the wall many a times and have not got nothing done because they don't think like us because they don't know how to think like us. They have a closed set. They've been raised up and some of them, you know, know the truth and just won't admit it. Scared of being ostracized. For what reasons, I don't know. And if you're scared of being ostracized by your friends, maybe you need to get some new ones. Because here in South Carolina, over 73%, and I think it's over 70% in North Carolina too, both want cannabis. So um, the politicians are getting smart. Now this is the thing now. And I'm going to say this to Mr. Wolf, and I'm going to post something on his page later to let him know that I'm, you know, giving him a shout out. Is that Mr. Wolf and anybody else, we don't deal with people that don't keep their word. I'm one of the person ones will put you on blast. So I hope by you running on that platform, you're not a sheep in wolves clothing and you get in there and change your mind. And I'm going to state that as well on Facebook and any other thing that he's on. I wish him the best of luck. Their uh, election is March 20th. I will be following every, and I do mean every, cannabis, cannabis candidate very closely to see where the tide is going to turn, guys. And I don't think nobody else in the country is doing this but me. If they are, I welcome the company because that's going to be a lot of work. I'll tell you that right now. So just keep that in mind. And once again, do not forget 1227. That's an important bill. Get your legislators on that bad boy because we need that because Jeff is already moving. Once he gets these big pharma people, guess who we have to next? And we don't need none of his problems, okay? So let's get 1227 done, all right? We're going to go ahead and get y'all back to a little bit more music. And then from there... We gonna do something else. I ain't decided yet. So, hey, it's it's the end of the month. It's a short month. Twenty eight days. Think about it. Twenty eight days. And the next tomorrow is March first. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm talking about March so much when we come back. You're in tune to Seven Ten Radio, the Wake and Bay Show. I'm your host, Miss Green Jeans. <laughs> about time I've been thinking about space I know I might sound crazy but I'm trying to get down in a real good space I just want to be safe I just want to feel good every morning every single day I'm on and that I wake I've been looking for a place where the sun shines all the time good luck and my soul's what I crave I ain't worried about the hate Mm-mm. last year was a good year for you girl I've been keeping up with the pace don't be coming with the bull. Had a good year, now, now it's time to see my face. Yeah. Ain't worried about the fake. Kinda over all the hard times I've been through. Love brought me to. And I finally feel loose. My heart I choose. My heart been broke down in the dirt and I finally see blue. Red hands feel focused. And I'm done being broken. Talk about love, real love. You're the only thing that give me up. I'm high. I'm so far up that I could fly. Watch me fly. Keep me high in your blue sky. It's about damn time. I just want to be high. Who you making me high? high, high. I'm feeling real good Cause you love me deep down Working in my soul I ain't never felt this damn hole 
fights, they kill me, yep, but your love can heal me, cause your love feel good when I'm down, you can pick me up, I ain't never in the dust, got me falling deep down in your love, Some Moroccan hash, coffee break, some organic fair trade beans popping. Now I'm awake and it's time to go shopping. Roll to the dispensary, patient of the century. Need a nice sativa that will stimulate me mentally. Buds with sticky density of moderate intensity. Pipe like Sherlock Holmes, cause the sweet is elementary. Welcome, friends, to the dispensary. Fat discounts when you mention me. Any stray man, what you wanna try now? You might walk in, but you're gonna fly now. you want to try out you might walk in but you're gonna fly out breeze through security get my id check next to the purple haired girl at the front desk knows my name because she sees me on the regular waves me in says please turn off your cellular walls and walls of green buds jugs full of flour indicas for indica couch sativas for the power bow to the bud tender because he's paid by the hour as you can't see as your cannabis with og sour thinks i'll be a fan of this organic stream with amethyst but so damn gigantic you can help but we'll call it maximus a marijuana analyst he gives his full analysis of cbd to thc somebody give this man a kiss welcome friends to the dispensary you want to try out you might walk in but you're gonna fly out welcome friends to the dispensary that discounts when you mention me any stray man what you want to try out you might walk in but you're gonna fly out next to me in line is a guy named wesley smoke weed every day since back in the 70s now he's buying edibles his wife's on chemotherapy her recipe of choice kicks the nausea temporarily here in the dispensary there's something green for every crowd fat pre-rolls that will make bob marley crowd shadow wax resin extract for the vape crowd two puffs of that and you'll be walking on a vape cloud wait now don't walk away till you pay now it's gotta be cash till the banks break the shakedown make out with the fat ape and some papes how dope man let the smoke hit you on the way out welcome friends to the dispensary fat discounts when you mention me any stray man what you want to try out you might walk in but you're gonna fly out welcome friends to the dispensary fat discounts when you mention me any stray man what you want to try out you might walk in but you're gonna fly out Bubba, kosher cushies, northern lights in next. Got that pineapple express, lemon haze, driven poison, Amy Schumer's train wreck. Skywalker OG, purple haze, rape eight, AK 47, got me loading up my vape. Cali Miss, blueberry, triple diesel, golden goat. The dispensary is open and I'm never going home.
Good morning, Tom. Yeah, I just hit you up on Twitter because guess what? I'm about to break down the fastest three and a half minutes in news in cannabis. Your highness, yourself, your girl. Yeah, your highness. Get the keyword? Highness. Yeah. Only cannabis known <laughs> can get with the get down and still get the news right and tight. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seats because we about to break down the news that's in marijuana. Thank you, Tom, for putting out the letters that you put out to help me get things out each and every morning. Because what y'all fail to realize, this guy helps me out so much. So, I got to give him a shout out because, dang it, I just pulled that down and didn't mean to. Um, Without him, I wouldn't have a lot of the news that I have first thing in the morning at my fingertips. So, Tom, I can't donate money to you much as I would like to, but I can give you a shout out, okay? That's how we do. We broke 99, all right? Let's talk about the news today in the world of cannabis. Okay, let's see where we want to stop out. Okay, he's on point with me this morning. March is going to be a huge month for marijuana in Illinois. With the state's biggest country voting on cannabis ballot, question pro-legalization candidates poised to win March 20 gubernatorial and attorney general primaries. Oh, excuse me. And state lawmakers are considering legalization legislation. 
Legal marijuana could be coming to U.S. territory soon. This week, Guam Governor Eddie Cabo directed lawmakers to consider a legalization to raise revenue like other tax cuts signed into law by President Trump. And the legislators in the Commonwealth of North Mariana Islands are holding hearings on a bill to end cannabis prohibition. Arkansas's TV anchor Donna Terrell disclosed her own involvement with medical cannabis business in an emotional on-air statement. Because of her, because of my daughter, Quella, she died from colon cancer seven years ago. Well, it's like this. And I'm not going to take nothing away from her because I understand people have jobs to do. And that's a hard thing to do. You know, coming out the closet like this, speaking about cannabis is not an easy thought. But she's got people that she can reach out to. I, I strongly recommend her to reach out to several great organizations in her area like Minorities for Medical Marijuana for one. We'll be happy to talk you through the process, hon. And we're sorry for your loss. Okay, on the federal side. U.S. House Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman Phil Rowe called on the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs to research medical cannabis. Good for you. U.S. Attorney Jeff Sessions lost a new task force targeting opioid manufacturing and distribution prices that engage in unlawful practices. Matter of fact, Mr. Sessions made good on that promise because on the news yesterday they were showing a raid in, our, uh, I believe it was in Alabama. Yeah, they raided uh, a doctor's office and had all these doctors up there on Front Street. One of them, if I'm not mistaken, um, written over 57,000 prescriptions of opioids. That's ridiculous. Okay, officials in the U.S. National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration official Office of National Drug Control Policy and National Institute on Drug Abuse spoke at an event on a drug driving hosted by the Heritage Foundation. Okay, that's cool for them. Okay, a new book reports that former president former president Ronald Reagan was upset. Oh, come on, Google. I did not do that. Bye, Google. My Google just popped up. I don't know for what reason why I did that, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to what we was doing. Okay. Was upset about a distasteful endorsement of pot smoking in a movie he viewed. Turns out Reagan actually did write it in his diary. Wait a minute, did I just read right? A new book report that former President Ronald Reagan was upset about a distasteful endorsement of pot smoking in a movie that he viewed. Turns out Reagan actually wrote about it in his diary. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some homework on that. Let's now make a note of that. Look up Reagan. <laughs> Yeah, because that's kind of interesting. I, I mean, hmm. Considering the time era that he was in office and with the just, no, just say no to drugs movement, yeah, I'm really interested in that. Okay. Congressman Matt Getz will speak about legislation. He'll soon be introducing increase in marijuana research. The name is Matt Getz. He's in Florida, okay? By the time y'all get something right down there. The House... <laughs> The U.S. House bill to allow marijuana businesses to access bank got four new co-sponsors, total of 88. Now, think about it for a second. The U.S. House bill to allow marijuana businesses to access banks got four new co-sponsors, total of 88. What that means is this. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> What that means, I just got a text message. I guess I can say that. Somebody said, fuck him. I, I can't do that, man. I'm sorry, I can't. But uh, <laughs> when I was getting back to the bank situation is this. They got, they seeing too much money going back and forth through and they can't really touch it. You know, that builds interest in today's banks. That's an extra couple they can do and, and, and play with the stock market a little more. So what they're doing is they're probably whispering in the congressman, yeah, hey, man, if we get all this right, um, we can get some of this too. Good morning, Lily. <laughs> I just checked the chat board. Y'all got me going back and forth, back and forth today. Y'all are on it. And, um, you know, they, let them keep whispering in their ear. We're going to have that banking before the end of the year, though. Just watch. Okay, the U.S. House Building State, State Legal Marijuana Activity from the Control Sussex Act got one blue card sponsor, a total of 45. Woohoo! Yes! 
That is good. We got 45 on that bill. The numbers are cre creeping up, ladies and gentlemen. The U.S. House bill to remove roadblocks to marijuana research got two more co-sponsors, a total of 13. And the last one that we're going to get to, we're going to take a short break and give y'all a little music and come back with the, ooh, we're getting close to that time. We're going to go ahead and do this last one because I didn't realize we were almost at, yeah, we're at 50 minutes after the hour. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up with the last one. Listen up, North Carolina. The North Carolina Democratic Congressman candidate Steve Woodsmall supports legalizing marijuana. You best better believe Mr. Woodsmall will be hearing from Ms. Green Jeans, a.k.a. Rosemary's World of Cannabis, because um, inquiring minds want to know, and that should be pretty close for um, we can go talk to him. And tomorrow, we're going to be talking about South Carolina. Yeah, we got a few people that's... Um, marijuana supporters too and we will talk about that on tomorrow's show it is now 51 51 minutes after the hour we're gonna get you this last little bit of music and then we're gonna do the wrap up for the day you're in tune to 710 radio what's happening what's happening hey hey what's up baby what's happening what's up what's up what's happening hey now ladies and gentlemen uh-huh it's about that time now See everybody do this. Hey, let's go. Snap your fingers. Do you still? You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey. Let me see you do it. Hey. Hey. Snap your fingers. Do you still? You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey. Let me see you do it. Hey. Hey. Snap your fingers. Do you still? You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey. Let me see you do it. Hey. Hey. Snap your fingers. Do you still? You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey. Let me see you do it. Hey. hey. Snap your fingers. Do you still? You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey. Let me see you do it. And choose to and lose all you different crews, chicks and dudes. So you think it's really kicking tunes? Picture you getting down in a pit of two, like you lit the fuse. You think it's fictional, mystical, maybe spiritual hero who appears in you to clear your view yeah. when you're too crazy. Lifeless to those with definition for what life is. Priceless to you because I put you on the hype shit and like it. Gun smoke, you're righteous with one toe. You're psychic among no possess you with one go. Feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. Ain't happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. It's coming on. It's coming on. It's coming on.
and the final smoke blunt joint bait dab of the morning is gonna go down in Tennessee Tennessee yes I can I had to go and scroll through I got some more news but I'm gonna give that to you tomorrow on Thursday's edition of the Wake and Bake Show but I could not end the show without not talking about Tennessee 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 and you'll understand why I'm saying it like that the Tennessee House Criminal Justice Subcommittee voted 43 to advance medical cannabis uh, legislation Woohoo! go ahead on Tennessee 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 all right guys that's about it for today y'all are off the chain I am loving it Y'all have made the last day of this month really special. I'm going to tell you that right now. For everybody that's tuning in today, thank you. I couldn't do this without you. Keep texting, emailing, doing what you do. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, here on the soundboard here um, as speaker. Wow. Once again, give yourself a hand because y'all have really... Let me know that you're listening, communication, and acting. And for all those people I gave a shout out to today, yes, thank you as well. Because without none of y'all, I wouldn't be here neither. So guess what, guys? We're going to end up the show like we normally do. Think about it. Talk to three people today, guys. I always say talk to three. Because you never know what that person might know about cannabis. Or better yet, you might be teaching somebody something new about cannabis as well. Always, always, I have to thank my man, Rick. Rick, thank you once again. These 28 days have been amazing. <laughs> Crazy, incredible, and all that, and a bowl of grits. Thank you for letting me do what I do Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know who Mr. Rick Rainwright is, he's the owner of 710 Radio. And last but not least, to all my family that has been sharing the hell out of my posts. My big sister Marie. She ain't my big sister. She under me, but I call her my big sister. Hey, down there in Gainesville, Florida. Hey, Smash Entertainment. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. I'm putting you on blast as well. You shared on my page. Now you got to put me in a video. I'll be bringing that to you shortly too. Yes, Miss Green Jeans is stepping back in the spotlight once again. As Miss Green Jeans. Not as Rosemary. Rosemary's World of Cannabis. Because this likes to be the little fun side. Believe it or not, the political is still there. Yes, it is. But we like to have a little fun too. And we like to show the young people that we can keep up with them. So look for me to be in a Smash Brothers production real soon. In Gainesville, Florida. Go Gators. Final word of the day. Hey, y'all have a blessed day. See you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And then again tomorrow afternoon at high noon. That's right. We do the double jeopardy thing. And guess what? My girl, Elevated Ellen, is going to be in the building. I'm excited. I can't wait. I done ran my time out, y'all. From the Rocky Mountain Tops of Denver, Colorado, all the way down to the clay of Rock Hill, South Carolina. You've been informed, entertained, and educated. And y'all can't tell me y'all ain't laughing your ass off right now. Thank you for tuning in to the Wake and Bake Show. Got a question for you. Are you awake yet? I'm a weed smoker, you're a broker, fucked up in the head, call me that joker. I mean, if you're trying to find, there's no dope box, so can I get hell yeah in this motherfucker? <clears throat> I'm a weed smoker, girl broker, fucked up in the head, they call me the joker. Me and you a drunk guy, there's no dope box, so can't get a hell yeah in this motherfucker. I'm a weed smoker.
motherfucker. sleep.